Hi, everyone. My name is Christy Stewart, and I am an academic advisor in the College of Engineering and Applied Science. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about what a grade replacement is and some of the processes and policies for that. So first off, a grade replacement is a wonderful thing that UC provides to students to help with GPA. You can apply for a grade replacement if you took a class and you did not pass or you received a grade that you're not happy with. That means you can retake the class, earn a better grade, and then apply for a grade replacement. This will not remove the old grade um, from your transcript. It will still appear on your transcript, but it will remove the old grade from your GPA and replace it with the new grade. Again, the old grade in class will still show on your transcript. Some main things to know about grade replacement. You can only grade replace a UC class with another UC class. So if you take the class again somewhere else, you can transfer the class back for credit, but you cannot replace the old grade. Again, a UC class can only be grade replaced with another similar UC class. You also only get 12 credit hours to replace. So that means you should be careful about selecting which classes to do a grade replacement for. And of course, just try to avoid needing to use it in the first place. You can find more information on this by using the UC search and typing in grade replacement. The detailed policies and application can be found there. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what kind of like non-passing grades there are and when and when you should not be using a grade replacement for those grades. So the first type of grade that you might see is an NP. That means non-passing. This is given in some classes depending on the department policy in place of an F or other non-passing letter grade. This is because some students may need a few attempts before they can pass a class like a math class, for example, and the department does not want to penalize students for trying their best and continuing to attempt to take the class. An NP goes on your transcript, but it does not count in your GPA. You do not need to do a grade replacement on an NP grade because, again, it doesn't count in your GPA. Any letter grade like an F or D minus, so for example, if you have a higher required minimum grade to pass, like maybe in Calculus 1, Math 1061, you need a C minus to be able to go to the next class. In that case, anything below a C minus is a non-passing letter grade. Any of these letter grades do count in your GPA and they will require a grade replacement if you take it again. W is another kind of grade that is not passing. So this stands for withdrawal. That means you decided to withdraw from the class during the semester after the drop deadline, but before the withdrawal deadline. So a drop usually occurs in the first two weeks of classes, and that means you can just remove the class with no penalty. It doesn't show on your transcript, doesn't do anything to your GPA. But a W happens after that first two weeks, that becomes a withdrawal window. Um, in that case, if you withdraw, then it will count, um, it will show in your transcript, but it does not count in your GPA. So that means for W, you do not need to grade replace a W grade. I is another kind of grade you might see. So I stands for incomplete grade. This is given if the instructor has made an agreement with you on completing some missing work later after the semester ends. Sometimes this happens if a student is out sick for a while or had some emergency come up and they get behind. An I grade would only happen after a lot of discussion with the instructor. You should already have a clear plan of what needs to be made up and what the deadlines are for that. So once all the work is complete for the class, then the instructor will change the I grade to the new grade. You have one year to complete an I grade, otherwise it becomes automatically an F on your transcript and on your record. You do not need to grade replace an I grade because you should be working to make up the missed work. But if the I grade changes to an F grade, in that case, you should first talk to your instructor to see if there's any way to work with them through that 
or if it is an F, then you should consider taking it again for a grade replacement. Okay, so I hope this helps. We talked a little bit about um, uh, the different types of grades and also about grade replacement. If you have other questions about this though, you should definitely talk to your academic advisor um, again to ask more questions and get more details on these topics. Thank you so much.